What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today, Tessa Thompson confirms in an interview that Christian Bale will be the villain in Thor Love and Thunder. But what villain? Thoughts on who Bale could be? Uh, great job by the Geeks and Gamers Twitter page. If you guys have not followed us over on Twitter, please do so. Stephanie does a fantastic job of running that account. Um, yeah, it's not me. So I know you guys keep tweeting that account thinking it's me. I'm not running it. I don't run our social media accounts. We have uh, better, smarter, more intelligent people than myself handling the social media accounts. Um, now, when it comes to Christian Bale being in Thor Love and Thunder, I am completely torn because Christian Bale is my favorite actor. I think Christian Bale is one of the greatest actors of all time. And, you know, with Marvel, I've never been completely in love with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, I do highly, highly appreciate and respect what Kevin Feige has done. I've never been in love with it. I've loved certain aspects of it. You know, the first Avengers film, um, you know, Civil War, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, um, Infinity War, Endgame was pretty good for the most part. You know, it's had great high points, but also a lot of uh, mediocre films to kind of get us from point A to point B with those big tentpole films. Um, also, Marvel has always struggled with villains, and, and it's being you know rumored that Christian Bale will be a villain in Thor Love and Thunder. And I'm still going to treat this as a rumor because it's, I don't care what Tessa Thompson says because Tessa Thompson is a, a crazy lunatic SJW anyway. Um, I'll wait for the studio to officially announce it, but it, it feels like this is definitely going to happen. But if Bale's going to be a villain, and, and the rumor is Beta Ray Bill, which does that mean he's going to be CGI? How is that going to work? Is it going to be mocap? I, I really don't know how they're they're going to do that. Um, but villains have not been the strongest thing for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Obviously, we've had thing with Thanos was great, an all time great villain, no doubt about that. Michael Keaton was fantastic in Homecoming, but um, you know, few and far between. I never thought Loki was the greatest villain. I thought Tom Hiddleston was good in the role, but I didn't think he was a great villain. I didn't fear Loki. Loki was too uh, likable in that role. Um, it, he didn't, he wasn't a great villain in my opinion. Um, you know, DC obviously has done a far better job with their on-screen villains in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. With Bale though, again, Bale is a top of the line actor. He's a top tier actor and him joining this, it frustrates me because of the wokeness that seems to be involved with the Marvel Cinematic Universe in this next phase. Uh, the nonsense surrounding Thor, Love and Thunder. Um, everything with Natalie Portman's involvement, with Tessa Thompson's involvement, with the nonsense that they're spewing with Taika Waititi. Uh, not wanting us to say, female Thor. Female Thor. Yeah, you don't like it, Taika Waititi. We're going to keep saying it. Female Thor female Thor. Nothing you can do to stop us. Um, but yeah, so it's just so frustrating how this, this is playing out. I, I really, I really, I hope Bale brings it. And I mean, again, he always brings it in every role, but how much is he going to be able to show his greatness? That's going to be the question. I'm not thrilled about him being in this role uh, of all of the comic book films that he could be involved in after his great run in the dark Knight. Uh, this is definitely not where, where I was uh, hoping he would land. I mean, this guy could sign on for any movie he wants. He he can he could be any he could play any role. He could do anything he wants. Um, so for him to pick this is interesting. Um, you know, with it going to the Thor movies, I liked the first one. I hated the second one. And Ragnarok, I I it was fine. Um, the the further I got away from it, the the less the less I thought about it, and I kind of just forgotten the whole movie. It just felt like it was a cheap attempt to be Guardians of the Galaxy, and Guardians of the Galaxy does it far better. Um, but um, and Taika Waititi has di directed uh some of the episodes of The Mandalorian, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but overall, just Bale being involved, yes, it excites me because it's Bale, but it's not where I would like to see him. But it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. If he will be officially announced as Beta Ray Bill or someone else, that's going to be the question. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Christian Bale joining Thor Love and Thunder, which is the worst name ever. What the hell are they thinking? Whatever. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo lost money. Raylos are weird. And Christian Bale is the man, regardless if he's in this garbage Thor Love and Thunder movie. Talk to you later. Thank you.